So I and a soccer player and trackster Becker Carr had quite a day last Friday. In the final league track meet of her high school career, the senior won four individual WBL titles, helping the Lady Bulldogs claim the team crown. And as Carr gears up for district, she is the subject of this week's OIO Prep Profile. Last Friday, Becca won WBL titles in the 100 hurdles, 300 hurdles, pole vault, and the long jump. The 100 hurdles with uh, OG's sophomore, that was definitely the race I was nervous about. I mean, it was a photo finish. So that was definitely exciting. And then just finishing it out and knowing like that's how I ended my senior year in the league. Like that was a goal I wanted to get done. She's a competitor. She does everything that she needs to do. Um, she puts in all the time, all the effort. Um, not just during the practice, but during the off season. She just knows how to give it her all and what a, what a great leader she is to have on our team. Now the goal is to make it back to Columbus. Becca hopes to qualify for state in all four events, but she's most focused on the pole vault this year. Last year I was really disappointed when I didn't make it in the vault, so that's what I'm like really focusing on this year, and that's my favorite event, so hopefully I can get there. Her attitude now in the pole vault is, you know, I want to go higher every meet. She's very coachable now. So if I say you have to make a little adjustment, you know, drop a grip in your hand or you're not swinging your trail leg through, you know, she immediately works to fix that. A trip back to Jesse Owens would be Carr's fourth straight, and she has thrived in that atmosphere since her freshman year. It's just like overwhelming, like with the crowd and running on that track, like, and then seeing the competition, like you don't see kids like that and you like see how much talent's actually there and you're like wow like look how far everyone has come to get here and I'm so grateful to make it there three years and hoping a fourth. Once high school concludes Becca heads north to Eastern Michigan University where she will continue her track career. I had one more official visit and I went there and I fell in love with it so I was like this is my school. She's going to put in all the work that needs to be put in. Uh, the coaches, the coaching staff up there, they're great. Uh, second to none. Uh, just knowing her personality, knowing her personally, um, she's just going to give it her all. The track team is definitely something I'll take with me. We're so close. It's like I'd say that we're like a family. Like we're always there for each other, and there's a strong program here. And like I was just grateful to be part of it. In Salina, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.